Hey everybody, Q Paul here. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be responding to some feedback that I received recently from a viewer who has asked me to please stop teaching Spanish. Here it is. I have to agree with A. Garcia Borrego. Like so many of your helpful and very well-searched videos, but please don't try to teach Spanish. Sorry, you are teaching other gringo Spanish with a gringo accent. Exclamation mark there. I am a gringo but grew up in a Spanish-speaking country, and when I listen to you and other gringos with a very heavy American accent, it actually hurts my Spanish. And I have never been accused of having an American accent, and Spanish is not the only other foreign language I speak. Again, thank you so much for your informative videos, but please stop with the Spanish lessons. Spanish and or any other foreign languages should be taught by native speakers. Please keep up the very helpful and great videos. Thanks. Ouch, Tom. Ouch. You know, I have to say that I have never considered that my accent might actually be capable of hurting someone else's Spanish. That's just something I have never considered. For some of you folks who are watching and haven't seen any of my Spanish videos, I'm sure you're curious just how bad my gringo accent must be to get somebody to write me to ask me to stop making videos. So I'm going to go ahead and play a couple of short clips that were taken from some of my Spanish lessons. But first, the boys in the legal department wanted me to add this. Warning, listening to the following may hurt your Spanish. People who pick up accents easily may want to hit the mute button now. Deja las llaves en la mesa para que no se me olviden mañana. A juzgar por lo que me dijo Juan, no me cree. ¿Sería posible sentarme ahí? Básicamente es la misma frase, pero por sí es la versión más corta. Puedes ir al concierto siempre y cuando tengas el dinero. You folks who were brave enough to keep the volume up during those clips, you doing okay? Is your Spanish doing okay? You might want to test it by throwing out a couple of olas just to make sure you didn't pick up my gringo accent. All joking aside, I admit that I have an accent when speaking Spanish. Even though I speak Spanish every single day, and I have for many years, um, I did learn it as an adult. And when that happens, when somebody learns a foreign language as an adult, accents kind of come with the territory, you know? But not all gringo accents are the same. Some folks have a very strong gringo accent and some folks have more of a subtle gringo accent. I'd like to think I'm more on the subtle side. I mean, it's not like I'm saying, Bienvenido al canal. El día de hoy, quiero hablar de las ventajas y desventajas de aprender este idioma. You know, when it comes to accents, it really comes down to whether a native speaker would understand you. So you just gotta ask them. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? But in all fairness, Tom is not saying that I can't be understood when I speak Spanish. He's saying that only native speakers should teach a language. So let me understand this rationale. If I teach a gringo Spanish, they're going to have a gringo accent. But if a native speaker teaches a gringo Spanish, then that gringo is going to have a native accent? I think we all know the answer to that. It doesn't matter which group they're in. That student's probably going to have a gringo accent either way because we're talking about adults learning a foreign language. And, well, accents come with the territory. Personally, I believe that people can benefit from learning from both native and non-native speakers. The native speakers can help you work on your ear for the language. They can also help you with your pronunciation and they can tell you what sounds right to them as far as word choice or sentence structure. What non-native speakers can offer you is the benefit of their experience learning a language as an adult. In other words, we've been there and we've done that and we're going to show you how we did that. We can share tips and tricks on how to remember a certain construction or how to make it make sense to you as an English speaker or for example I share techniques with some of the students on how I'm able to quickly create sentences in my head to keep up with conversations in real time. That's not something a native speaker even has to think about because well they just speak the language. In other words I believe that non-native speakers offer a unique perspective that can help some students actually reach their Spanish goals faster. If you read through the comments on my video lessons, you're going to come across a lot of them where people say, you know, that they finally understand some aspect of the language that they've been struggling with, and it's because of the way I explained it. I explained it as an English speaker who learned the language on his own, telling another English speaker how I did it. Let's go back to Tom's original comment. Um, some of you may have noticed that Tom cited a comment made by another viewer. So I was curious what that comment was, so I went back and found it. Here it is. Spanish is my first language. I love it and take great pride in it. So I was very pleased with your great story. 
and he's commenting on a video I did on how I learned Spanish. Even when you have an accent and it's evident Spanish is not your mother tongue, I was surprised by your fluency and your mastery of our grammar. Now I see why. It touches me when someone takes such care in learning my language properly. You have my respect. That was a very positive comment from a native speaker. That wasn't the only video he commented on. Uh, I did find some other comments on some other videos and they were always very positive. So he clearly watched several of my videos. You know, I hope his Spanish was not negatively impacted by watching my videos. Um, I can just picture him now, he's sitting at the kitchen table and his wife's like, where did you get that gringo accent? So back to the recommendation that I should no longer teach Spanish what to do, what to do. Should I pull the plug in this whole operation? Just shut the channel down? Nah, I think I'll keep it going. And there's two reasons for that. Number one, 99% of the comments that I receive on the channel have been super positive. And the second reason is, this channel generates between five and 600 bucks a month, and well, that's pretty good beer money. Well, thanks for watching the video, and a very special thanks to Tom for inspiring the video. Until next time, hasta luego.